All right, guys, good morning, or should I say afternoon? It's about 11.20, feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but I got all my stuff packed to go to Miami to uh, go to Raf's place. First, though, I am going to have lunch with my cousin, which is actually beneficial for me because she needs to be dropped off in uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport. So we're going to have lunch. So I'm going to pick her up. We're going to have lunch. And I'm not going to film it because she's probably going to think I'm weird um, filming what I'm eating. So we're probably going to go to IHOP, uh, get some real quick to eat. I haven't really ate anything today, just a little snack for this morning because um, I wanted to save uh, for this brunch or lunch or whatever it is. So drop her off at Fort Lauderdale Airport and from there just go straight to Raf's. But uh, yeah, so all packed up. I hate packing because I feel like I'm always going to be forgetting something. Hopefully I got everything I need. I got my camera, got my tripod, got my laptop, got everything I think I need. And I got an extra change of clothes for the actual workout we're going to be doing at formerly known as Porky's. But now is Anytime Fitness, I believe. But uh, yeah, so right now getting ready to head out the door and see you guys throughout the day. All right, guys, little update. So I got my cousin. She's actually inside IHOP seeing if there's going to be a wait because if there's a wait, uh, we don't know if we're going to actually spend time here. Because she's on a time schedule, she has to be at the train station, or not the train station, but at the airport by a certain time. We only have a limited time. So I'm going to go in there, eat some a little bit of IHOP. I'm not going to film in there because it'd be weird. I already said that before. So I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to Miami. Maintenance required. Definitely need to get that oil change soon. Traffic is pretty smooth at the moment. I'm not in Miami yet. I'm still just leaving Fort Lauderdale, but should be there in about 15, 20 minutes, not that far. Hopefully the traffic stays like this and uh, we can get this day started. All right, so we've made it. Just gotta figure out which place it is. It's supposed to be on the left with the, uh, oh, there he is. Doing uh, some sweeping work outside. <laughs> Creeping hardcore. Right. So, yeah, this is quite a distance for sure. This is quite a distance. It's pretty dope though. He lives right around the corner from the university, which is super convenient so he doesn't have to drive so far to get to school. But uh, there's his beautiful car. Here's me parking. About to get all my stuff and get inside and get this day started. All right, I had to repark. I guess there's a sign parking. Should have known that though, tall places are. So up these steps, good little cardio workout. It's warm today, for sure. Okay. So here is Casa La Rafael. Hello. Yo. I'm here, man. <laughs> All right. Sweet, man. Today's been kind of crazy for me already. I see what you're doing, dude. <laughs> dude, it's so epic what I just did, man. Get the prep going on. It's unreal. Hi, man. My, my fucking bubble ass house, it's all good. It's just like it is on the videos. <laughs> so guys, walking into formerly known as Porky's. That back though. And uh, now known as? You fit. Oh, I said Anytime Fitness earlier. You fit. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's pretty dope. It's way bigger than the athletic factor. But you see the green and purple stuff slowly making its way into it since it is UFIT now. So here we go with this voiceover. Apologies for this video being so late. Uh, we did film this last Sunday, so today is Friday and I'm finally able to take the time to do this voiceover. Anyways, so we did some board presses. This is the first time me ever doing board presses. Very similar to floor presses, uh, but board presses, you know you're on the bench, your feet, um, you can get a little leg drive in your, in your legs, obviously because your feet is on the floor and instead of just uh, laying. So um, I really did like these. I wish I could do them more. Uh, I don't have the luxury of having a partner to do board presses, but um, for the most part, this was really well. And um, I had fun with it. I had fun with it. All right, guys, so first time doing board presses, which is pretty cool. Didn't really go too heavy. Just kept it, uh, the heavy set 225 for sets of 12. It's something new for me, but it's pretty cool. I got a gnarly pump and uh, reps are high. So 
so after board presses we moved on to flies now me i'm just following rafael's routine since he is in contest prep and um, i don't want to get him out of his um his workouts i want him to stay uh, persistent on his workout so i decided just to follow him and do what he does for um chess normally when i do chess i incorporate a, a bunch of pressing movements such as you know shoulder presses uh triceps um uh, bench press you know inclines just uh, all the pressing movements all in one day but then we moved on to incline dumbbells and these are actually something i've been throwing into my routine lately for my own um sake uh, i have to i want to start working on my upper chest uh, a little bit more just for my overall chest development it's not just strength uh, i just like i want an all around chest and i noticed that something i'm lacking in is my upper chest so here we are doing machine military presses and we superseted it with lab side lateral raises i think we did three sets for each so we were just back and forth back and forth and we kept the weight pretty light something where we can maintain around 12 to 15 rep range i didn't list them because um i don't remember exactly how many reps and um sets we actually did then to finish it off we did some cable crunches and then that was a wrap Guys, so this is my post-workout meal right here. Thank you to Rafael for this protein pancake, which he made in about 15 minutes. And I already took one bite of it, and it's pretty good. I just wish I was able to taste it more uh, because my nose is still stuffy. And like you know, you can't you can't really taste stuff when your nose is stuffy. But I can still taste the hint of it. But this is pretty dope. This is pretty good. This is something I'm gonna probably throw into my routine. Simple ingredients too. All right, guys, checking out this laptop. Or not laptop, I'm sorry. This desktop. This is the Apple 5K Retina display, which the price is that. It's about what I paid for my MacBook. But this is a pretty dope. Just if I had space for this, I would definitely probably invest in something like this. Alright guys, so I'm back in my car, definitely didn't work out at Starbucks because uh, I could not get on any internet, the Starbucks Wi-Fi really sucked and that's how it was by the one at my house for a while, they still have the old Wi-Fi system, but so uh, we, we called it a day, um, I didn't really get that much footage, not as much as I like to because like I said earlier, Porky's, you have to really just uh, be conservative with the camera and uh, you can't just like film anywhere you want. You can't have the tripod. So like I said, I wanted to respect the rules there. It's not my home gym. And uh, so I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked to. But uh, so yeah, Starbucks didn't work out. I didn't film anything because I was really frustrated just for that fact that I couldn't do any work, like any editing or any upload my clips because I have to have Wi-Fi to upload my clips, especially for my phone. But uh, so I'm gonna be on my way home. It's only eight o'clock and I'm still a little hungry. The protein pancakes I had was good, but I still have plenty of macros to kill. I might film a little bit more when I get home, depending on how I feel and what time I get home, as long as there's not traffic. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next clip or I'll just wrap up the video and that'll be it. Anyways, if I do, hope you guys did enjoy and see you in the next.